what's up guys welcome to back to another tutorial uh, today i want to show you how to uh, create folder and upload files in google drive and uh, in order to access google drive you need a google account so i'm just going to open up uh, my web browser google chrome and then for you to create a google account just type uh, google account and then hit enter so it's going to open up uh, all these uh, links select the first link www.google.com uh, account select the first link that says google account and then and then uh, at the uh, top right you're going to see this uh, create an account link just click on it and then uh, the moment it open up so you can see that uh, it's going to prompt you to uh, in fill in the details so just uh, fill in the correct details and then move to the sec uh, move to the next uh, uh, the next window it's going to uh, actually direct you on how to fill in the information so that's the uh, way to actually create a google account and then after you've created a google account and then open up the sign in to the uh, google account uh, you can always uh, type in uh, www.google uh, sorry about that dot uh, google drive dot com or you can simply uh, you can simply search google drive hit enter and then go to google drive click in and then it's going to open up uh, the google drive uh, alternatively you can just uh, the moment you open up your, your browser uh, the chrome browser uh, there is this section uh, on the top right corner of the browser you'll see uh, google apps this icon here if you click on it you'll see uh, different uh, google applications uh, one of them is google drive just click on google drive and then it's going to open up uh, this google drive so for you to create uh, a folder inside uh, google drive you can click in the open space or whatever just right click or just click new on the on the uh, left sidebar there is this first link uh, new so just click on new and then uh, say new folder then uh, just give it a name just appropriate name just like uh, data and then click create so you're going to see that uh, this uh, folder has been created if you want to delete you can always right click on this data and then or on the folder that we've just created and then move to trash so uh, let, let's create it again you can also uh, create it uh, by clicking on this uh, my drive and then uh, say new folder let's uh, bring it back data and then if you want to open it just double click on it and then you are inside your data folder you can also create another folder inside here right click and then say new and uh, uh, give it a name like files create now you can see that uh, you you have a folder inside another folder you can always double click on it if you have now if you want to now upload a file inside this uh, folder that is inside another folder you can always go to uh, the left uh, on the left sidebar and click new and uh, choose file upload we are now if you, let's be clear here 
we say we want to uh, to import or to upload a file so you have to specify that uh, it's a file that you want to upload so you choose file not folder so file uh, navigate to the location where you have your file that you want to upload for example I want to upload this uh, image I'm just going to click op open and then uh, at the bottom right you can see that there is something that is going on uh, it's actually uploading so the moment it uh, completes you can see now the file is inside this uh, uh, inside this file data uh, file folder so you can always double click on it to open so so that you can have a preview of your data so this the this just uh, a map that I've just uploaded uploaded inside this uh, folder so let's say you want to upload a folder is so we have this folder inside uh, our data folder that we created we created it first so we want to add another folder inside here but uh, we're not going to create new we just want to import or to upload from our computer so in order to do that just create click new again uh, go to folder uploads and then right click to the place where you 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 have your folder that you want to upload say uh, let's let's look at this one yes select that and upload so just click upload and uh, it's also going to take uh, some time depending on the uh, speed of your internet and the nature of the content that is contained in the folder so you can see that now our file is or our folder has been uploaded now we have two file two folders inside uh, our folder that we created uh, one is files and another one is project so you can always double click and check in to see uh, the folder so you can double click on the files and have a preview or have a look at uh, your data so if you are satisfied that uh, upload was uh, successful so you can always uh, share this uh, data Let's say that I want to now uh, share whatever that is inside these files. I want to share uh, to create a link so that anyone with the link uh, of this file can always access it. So just click on it and then right click and uh, then uh, place your cursor on, on the share, this share link and then click share. Alternatively you can always click on it again so the moment you click on it you can see that uh, there are several tabs that have been that appears uh, at the top here so you can always click on this share and it's going to open open up uh, uh, it's going to show you how or take you through the process of sharing this uh, file so let's go the traditional way uh, so click share again uh, you can always add people here so those uh, the emails account that of the people that want to share the files with or you can always uh, so you can see that people with access you are the owner you are the uh, admin of this data so you can always restrict uh, you can always restrict or can uh, just click on anyone with the link so that uh, so so that whenever we provide this link to anyone they can always have access to this file so let's uh, choose anyone with the link and then uh, you can also restrict to viewing only so that uh, these people that you are giving this link they can only uh, view not uh, comment or edit so let's say for this case i'm going to choose editor and then i'm going to click done uh, sorry uh, let's do that again uh, share and then 
copy the link so we want to copy this link and uh, let's create let's create a txt and say link i'm going to paste that link inside here so that whenever okay so uh, say done and close so if i open up another uh, let's say i have another uh, google account let me open another google account a separate one and then in the browser i'm going to paste uh, the link and hit enter let's see if you're going to get or to view the same image that we uploaded in the in the first uh, google account so yes you can see that now we have uh, uh we can uh, we have now the image that we uploaded the file that we uploaded in the previous account so if you open up the file again go so go to google drive and have a look at the data that we uploaded or the data that we shared we say go to our folder so click on folders it's in inside data and then files so uh, this is the file that we shared if you double click on it it is the same file that is open up in the in the second uh, google account so guys uh, that's it that's uh, the process of share of uh, creating folders and uploading files inside google drive so i hope this uh, tutorial uh, will actually guide you on, on the same process if you have any query uh, you have a recommendation or you just want to uh, appreciate the work that uh, we are doing just let me know in the comment section below and uh, see you in the next tutorial